welcome back everyone to another beer review. Try and be a little bit exciting today because it's Thursday night, Friday tomorrow, and I'm on holiday on Saturday. So we got that out of the way. Uh, next beer up is, uh, give me a clue. There you go, it's from them guys if you can see it. From Salt. And this is a can of their A Different World No Coast IPA. And this is coming in at 5.4% in a 440 ml can. Uh, not sure how much it costs individually, because as I've said before, John from Lord's Brewing Co. Uh, check out his website. I'm certain he's got a website, so buy some of his beers, help the guy out in these times. Uh, I'm going to, I haven't yet, but I will do at some point after probably when I come back off holiday and I've run some of my own stock down a bit. Uh, so yeah, John sent me this. Uh, four cans, two glasses, 15 quid. Uh, very nice of him to do that. Uh, obviously, I paid for him. Uh, and yeah, great artwork as usual from Salt. And the No Coast IPA is basically it's a it's a cross between an East Coast and a West Coast. So it's going to be something like uh, Northbridge uh, from Thornbridge and North Brewing Co. Their Mountain IPA, which is cross between them. So uh, hopefully, it's going to be as good. Uh, I've seen one review of it who was a little bit disappointed, but we'll see. Uh, it's saying, yeah, we're, yeah uh, blah, blah, blah. What ops we got in there? Let's have a quick look. Tell you the spiel on the back. A no coast IPA bringing the best of both East and West Coast styles together. Uh, aromas of lemon marmalade are complemented with a pithy, balanced bitterness. Malt's pale and oats. Uh, Catlin Dry Hop, Mosaic Citra, Amarillo and Centennial. So uh, let's get it out of this can, see what we get. Hope everyone's okay. Uh, like I say, I'm off on holiday Saturday. I may try and do a cheeky uh, couple of beer reviews over there. Uh, depends if uh, the one upstairs will let me. But I may try and get a couple in. If not, I'll be back in a few days. So uh, let's get this into the glass. See what we get. So there we go, orange in colour, orange marmalade actually in colour, and it says lemon, that's orange marmalade, that's aromas obviously lemon marmalade, but this it looks like orange marmalade in the glass, uh, quite a lot of bubbles sticking to the glass, I can't see a lot of, car can't see any carbonation rising up as I always say, we've got half a finger of white head on top, not particularly thick head but doesn't matter. So let's dive in on the nose, see what we get. Yeah, typical sort of, getting the hops, grapefruit. Maybe a bit of a lemon, yeah, lemon in there. Hoppy, grapefruit, lemon. Very citrus, citrus aromas on the nose actually. Smells nice, maybe a slight, a very slight pine, this piney smell in there, but it smells nice, so let's dive in for the taste. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> right. Let's try and get the rest in there out the can into the glass see what we get right, let's go in again and again body average very soft in the mouth. Whether that's the water, I don't know, but it's, it seems very soft. Very little carbonation in there, which is going to add to the softness. And the, the one review that I've seen of it, after having the Mountain IPA, yes, 
uh, a little bit underwhelming. Just getting there with some tasting notes so for you. I say grapefruit, it's very more, more citrus, orange, tangerine kind of taste to it. Very citrus aroma, very citrus in the taste. Very little bitterness, but 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 certainly nowhere near like the the North Northbridge uh, Mountain IPA. That was well balanced. You got for me, you got the sort of flavours you were expecting from it. Mm. Now, whether this is just because. There is grapefruit, yeah, there is grapefruit in there, but you are getting big citrus notes. The flavours in there seem to be different. The more, more citrus, I would say, you're getting from it. 5.4%, uh, you're not getting that. Yeah, there's a slight bitterness, but nothing major. I mean, it's not a bad drink. Uh, Again, like like this other reviewer said, a little bit underwhelming. It seems a little mix and match. Uh, I've watched John from uh, Northern Southerner review Northbridge actually today, and he was a little bit underwhelmed or by that. Uh, he said it was very mix and match. For me, I really liked it, but I find this this more sort of under what he, his comments were on the North Bridge. It's hoppy, it's a little bit piney. It's a nice enough drink, don't get me wrong. I'm not so keen on the big citrus thing, that's just me. But it's not a patch on the, it's certainly not a patch on the, on the North Bridge for me. So there you go, that's my views on it. Uh, that's from Salt, and that's a different world, no coast IPA. Uh, if you're thinking of getting it, by all means, go out and try it. Uh, my own personal view would be, maybe don't buy it. If you're going to try something like this, try the North Bridge from uh, Tesco's or Morrison's. You know me. I don't know. It was from one of them. Uh, try that one. But it's up to you if you want to try it. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. A uh, little bit disappointing. And as I say, not a patch on the North Bridge for me. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, like me video, uh, subscribe to my channel, All The Beer No Idea. All The Beer No Idea 1. Uh, yeah, All The Beer No Idea 1 on Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget I'm on Facebook, All The Beer No Idea. Thanks to all the new subscribers. I can't believe how nuts it's gone in the last few days. Even the last few weeks, to be honest, have shot up 100 just like that. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, much appreciated to all the views anyway, even if you're not subscribed, but subscribers as many as possible. That's great. And uh, that's it for tonight. Uh, I may come back with a review tomorrow. I don't know. If not, it could be 10, 11 days before you see me again. Or you might be lucky or unlucky possibly. And you might see me do a review on holiday. So thanks for watching, everyone. Enjoy your evening and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.